Hi guys, welcome to another video. Got a MacBook in today. It's an A1 466. Quite a few years old, uh, but the customer likes the machine and would like to continue using it. However, it's got no power. He did tell me somebody had a look at it before, had liquid damage, um, and it was working, and now it doesn't work. Uh, the, the keyboard does seem a little bit sticky, so I assume that that's where the issues are. But what I have found, and I'll just show you this, so this, if I plug the charger in, um, I can get the device to switch on. And you can see the green, the green lights um, on, or the orange lights on, and I can hear the device spinning up, I think. Um, I press the power button, nothing happens. Nothing at all happens actually, absolutely. Did he squat, but I did hear the fan spin up a little while ago. So let's, let's just go into this, remove the back and let's see what's, uh, see what's going on. Let's uh, get the uh, screwdriver that I was using earlier to remove the back cover. Let's have a look. Okay, there's one over here. That's that one. So remove the back cover and you can see it's already it's got a few few marks there of predominantly that area so I assume that's where the damage was but that seems to have been kind of cleaned up there's not much there there's a few marks but nothing nothing major so let's plug plug the uh, the charger in What happens? Nothing at all. Let me disconnect the battery for a moment. That power button is really sticky. It's obviously that's failed. Let's put the battery back in. And charge it. And you can see that the fan is spinning. And it is. You can hear the device just then coming on. Uh, although there's nothing on the screen that I can I can see. Is there anything on the screen at all? I mean he said there's no power, but anyway, we've got you've got power. I can't see anything on the screen yet, so I can see a bit of a backlight. Probably can't see it on your on your side. The fans, the fans still spinning. You can see that there. Okay, so we've got the Apple logo now. Um, yeah, it's just you know I'm just covering the names up. Don't want you to. And you can see what it's doing. It's pressing itself. So this needs a new keyboard. I'm sure of it. So let's let's get into uh, taking the keyboard out and, and then you know putting your one in, uh, which I have to order. But we'll take it apart today. I just got the battery now. Okay, and I, I highly recommend what you do is every every step that you're going to repair this yourself. I don't need to do this because I've got years of experience and I've got a pretty decent memory. But if you haven't got much experience, haven't got a great memory, just go ahead and take a couple of snaps as you're going along, photographs uh, on, your, on your phone or whatever, or camera, and uh, that way you won't forget where things go back. So, like I said, I've got a little bit of, bit of, a, bit of a tip for you here. So, if I get a, a pen, which I've got on this side. So, if I say, first of all, let's remove the battery. Let's get the battery out of the way. That way we're not... Um, okay, that's the wrong screwdriver bit, and that's probably the wrong one as well. So I don't know whether it's. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Can't stop almost time. 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 Can't stop alm
I might take your me. I use the same pictures and leave them in there. So get the Let's find it. Let's it. All right, there is uh, a bit of bit of water damage there as well, um, but you know it's not too bad. I can just clean that up as I'm going along. So you, know, you can see there's quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the the battery, uh, the the motherboard, uh, and then I think it goes in like that. Goes that way. And the fan is there, so I'm just going to draw something for the fan. And this part goes like so, under the hinge, and it comes around there again. So, we can see you've got the, uh, the uh, LCD connector there. And you've got a screw there, a screw there, uh, where the fan sits. You've got a screw there. You've got a screw for the fan, so you can put F there. And you've got another tiny one, which is just there. And uh, we want maybe not need to remove the, the SSD. Uh, so we've got one. So you've got the SSD just there. I'm going to draw that. So I might just put a, just draw it anyway. And then there's one there. I've got one on this side of the LCD. So we've got a few. We know where all the cables and connectors go. That's not a problem. And on this side, uh, we have got a screw which I don't think is in the right place. Anyway, that's is what it is. Okay, I'll take this connector off. It connects the charging board to the motherboard and put that in there. And we're going to go ahead and remove all the little flexes and then we'll uh, we'll continue but I'll show you um, what I'll do with the screws in a second. Right, so I have to get a few bits from my other desk. I mean, I'm, I've just got a bit of alcohol here because I'm looking around here and there's bits of coffee damage or I don't know what is, I don't know what it is, but it's quite bad. I may need to use something a little bit stronger than alcohol because it's not the best cleaning um, stuff to use. So what I've got out this side, let's have a look. And something that's going to with a bit of vinegar in it that's what i'm gonna have to get so it doesn't okay let me just get something else that's what i do find I, I like to use a bit of window cleaner when it comes to stuff like this because what that does it's got a bit of vinegar in it and it's a pretty good cleaner as you can see look that's come that's come straight off it's a bit just on this connector that should be fine that's the keyboard area we didn't bother about that it's not going to go near the motherboard with it. I mean, it's although it won't make, do any damage because there's no power. It should be okay. But right now, so uh, what I'm going to do is show you what I, how I work sometimes so I don't forget stuff. So I'm going to make some little holes um, into in the uh, template that I've got here. So I'll now take a screw out and I'll pop it into one of these holes and... Uh, we will not lose a single screw and we'll do the job properly so that Yeah, I'm a really good artist, that's an absolute work of art on that side. Um, but yeah, just don't tell your friends I'm good at it because they'll be coming to see me with requests. Can you do this portrait for my son and my daughter? Oh, well, you know, I could try, but it'll probably look like a matchstick man. Okay, move and move, removing some of the flexes. I'm using a, a spudge at all, so we're not damaging uh, the, the doors. Uh, we want to put these back as we've found them. Just remove this out of the way. In fact, I'm actually going to get that one out completely. Put that over there. 
if you don't know where that goes, if you think you don't know where it goes, you could actually, you know, stick it on here. So that way you don't forget where it goes. And then I think this is for the, the backlight. The keyboard. If this has got a backlight, but I like to use, uh, I have also got a set of plastic tweezers. Because the metal ones, sometimes they're a bit too harsh on these things. Um, but sometimes you need to use metal on some of the things. Let's remove this connector here. Also, and remove this one too. Oh, there's something, a bit of a magnet there. There's a screw there, which I almost, uh, I'm going to pull this out slowly. Okay. Another connector there, that's for the fan. You could have a bit of a uh, music in the background, some chill out music just to calm your nerves while you're doing this kind of stuff. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, have something banging out, you know, at you, and then you make a mess of it. So let's over here. There's another screw there. I mean, you can see. Um, I've just seen a sign. Um, that, that is kind of just there <clears throat> under the keyboard connector, under the LCD connector. You can see that the uh, the paper's gone red to show that it has had liquid damage. So uh, I don't know where, how this bloke fixed it before, no idea. Uh, so let's get this fan out. There's another one for the fan. Just there. So we haven't made a note of that one. So I'm going to put one just here. Push that inside there. The fan should just come off. I'm going to put that in the tray. And the board should just come out now. Okay, let's have a look underneath. Uh, I don't see any signs of liquid damage there, but although I don't see anything, I'm just going to go and clean up as I'm going along. Put a bit of uh, isopropanol, just get my little brush, just in case there is something that we uh, we can't see. Um, I have got a microscope, uh, which I can't be really asked to put on right now, uh, but I'm quite confident uh, with what I can see. Um, and it all looks pretty pretty clean it has been cleaned up before by somebody that's what i was told so but i'm going to go around so there you go that's all that will, that will dry off nicely i'll put that to one side and the speaker does need to come out uh, and the connector for the speaker is just there Okay, let's pop that off. Okay, there's also a flex cable here. It needs to come out. Is that for the, the speaker? It should oh, there is one screw in there as well. I couldn't see that. Again, make a a hole in there so you don't uh, forget where it goes now you see what I mean now so when I put this thing back together I know where everything goes uh, so remove this sorry about that I've had the biggest sneeze of my life off camera now, so I'm gonna remove the speaker there, move that out of the way, and also that one. And you can see uh, where the liquid has gone. So, again, I'm going to get some um, window cleaner just to break that down. Just 
bit of something directly on there actually. Not let it break it down. And it's literally got everywhere, hasn't it? And you can see the job that the window clear does. It's almost well, gone. Now, what we need to do now is remove the, the keyboard. And um, I think there seems to be a flex here somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, sorry about that. I had a phone call, so I had to attend that. I've just taken the uh, the flex cable off uh, for the keyboard. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a backlit one. I think it possibly is. So um, we need to remove uh, this this film uh, from the from the back of the keyboard. Um, yeah, it looks pretty bad. This does. Now yeah, this is the backlight part of the of the keyboard. Um, yeah, it's obvious what's happened here. You can see that it's totally butchered. It smells of coffee, actually. I don't know why people need to tell the truth, you know, what's built on it. Uh, right. Okay, let's remove this as well. Put that in the bin. I'm thinking they've got rivets in this. Just gonna rip this up completely. Let's get rid of this. Now this person uh, is actually gonna sell his MacBook. I don't think he's fussed about the backlight anyway. Um, but my issue here now is that um, this has got rivets, so I don't think we can put that, the rivets back on. Um, I think the best thing to do really is to remove this panel. Uh, we don't want to damage the screen in any way. So I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the screen. don't want you to fix these things they want you to struggle like hell who in the right mind would rivet something in absolutely ridiculous first of all I need to remove the screws that are not coming out let's see if we can get these uh, the screws out the, the, the other screwdriver doesn't have enough weight. We can put our body weight down into the screw and it should come out. Hi guys. Right, as you can see, I've removed the, the keyboard um, and unfortunately it's, you know, it's riveted in. I haven't got the time to sit here and take out each rivet and then put a new screw hole in. I haven't even got the tool to remove these rivets. Uh, so I'm going to order one at some point and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have a go at taking them out. I'll keep this as a spare just to mess around with. But what I'm actually going to do, I spoke to the customer and I said, look, this is the situation. Sometimes I have screws, sometimes there's rivets. If they've got rivets, you know, it's a nightmare. 
So I'm actually going to order a pre-owned uh, palm rest. So it'll have the keyboard and the new uh, and and the mouse pad, and that will be the quickest way uh, to get the device back to the customer. Uh, and I ordered a, a pre-owned a pre-owned palm rest with the keyboard. Um, got a couple of minor bruises, to be honest. I don't even that bad, to be fair. Can't even see them. Um, but yeah, it's good good condition uh, palm rest. So we'll put this one in in now and replace the motherboard. Uh, there's my template that I made before. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to put the screen uh, back in. So that's what we'll do first of all. Put the screen back into its position. Remember how to do it. Just give me a second. One of my doors is open and I don't want to hear. Sorry about that. Somebody was at uh, the door, so I had to go. But uh, let's put the screen in now. Okay. I haven't even got my screwdrivers ready, to be honest. But let me get those things ready first of all before I do this. It's always easier getting the screen out than uh, putting it back in. Okay, so slide that into, into place. Now, let's see what tools I need for this. Just using my new toolkit that I've, that I've got here. Um, and I think the H8, this is the one that we need out of here. And that's perfect for... I never really know what numbers they're called and all the descriptions, they just pick out what I think is the right one, it's the right size. I know which one it is, you know, but I don't know. The technical numbers and all that sort of stuff, you just figure it out as you go along. You just remember what you're going to use every time you use them. But this one is uh, a H8, which has come out from that section there. So all the, the MacBook ones are just there. And I'll put the other side in as well. Get that out of the way. It's not, it's not quite lining up. Okay, that's in now. I like this screwdriver. It's magnetic, uh, which is, you know, a bonus. So, and I can just literally put my finger on the top and just spin it. It doesn't spin around with the uh, the screwdriver itself. So, and by the way, if you look at the link below, they are available um, in the description. And there are other t tools and bits and bobs that I use for my repairs, which are in there. As far as I remember, does that go over there? I think it does. I think this... This is for the Wi-Fi antenna that's in, in the... Uh, the shell of the screen. I'm just going to nip these up now. I don't nip them up straight away, only when I've got them all in. That's the best thing to do. Again, be patient with this job because it can turn out to be a bit of a nightmare. Now, what I want to do now is I want to get the, the motherboard and put it into place. The longer ones go at the top, there's three longer ones, one goes in the middle. Um, mind you, I should just really, what I should be doing 
is testing it before screwing all of this down and then if it doesn't work, if the keyboard's faulted anyway, I've got to take everything apart again. There's a broken uh, bit there, but then I'm going to put the screw in anyway. And also on this side. Now, what was happening previously, this mach the machine would come on straight away with just me. Now, if you look at that, the fans come on. And we have sound. Do we have a display? Please say yes. Just cleaning up a bit of the dust that's there. The LCD is connected correctly. I'm not getting a display as yet. But uh, we have to be a little bit patient uh, with this. There's no reason why we shouldn't get a display. Give it a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. There we have a display. So I'm going to wait for it to boot up and I will test out the, the screen. Okay, uh, I can't really show you that. Uh, I need to get the actual customer's password. Right, so what I did uh, off screen, um, I thought I pressed the record button, but I didn't press the record button. But what I did was I logged into the machine, uh, I tested every single key by using the notes application that's in there, and everything was worked perfectly. So I'm really happy that that's worked, and it's not been a complete waste of time. 